before this. The War Memorial looks like this. With less than two weeks before the season opener on October 11th, the War Memorial maintenance staff is working to make The Barn a hockey arena once again. It's gone through some changes the past few seasons. The lighting system, the same company that will be lighting the 2015 Super Bowl, a new scoreboard, upgraded seats, just to name a few. There's even more new advancements this season. For the first time since 1992, the dasher boards that surround the ice are brand new, able to absorb more impact during those big hits and help make for a more even surface. Technology as far as the dasher boards in regards to the tow board, mm -hmm. the yellow line around the board, it allows us to get a better, smoother cut when we go around with the Zamboni so there's not an uneven surface mm -hmm. when the uh, players are close to the edge. As far as the fans are concerned, those new boards will have new glass that do not have any vertical metal bars, meaning a much clearer view of those championship celebrations. And you might be wondering what they're doing right now to the ice. Well, those logos, the freshly painted logos, they're only on about a sixteenth of an inch of ice. So there's concrete like right there. So for the next few days, they'll be flooding the ice is what they call it, building up the ice packs so that they'll be on top of the logos for about an inch to an inch and a half over the next couple weeks as they build up to that October 11th start here in the War Memorial. And something to think of for the future, there is talk of extending the ice surface, which right now is smaller than most AHL and NHL arenas. The goal, to make the facilities match the product on the ice, which the players and fans hope is championship caliber once again this season. Reporting from the War Memorial, I'm Tom Eschen.